Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the Sanchez's. So, for today's video, we're all gonna do the skin deep one again. But this time, we actually wrote our own questions. Mm -hmm. And it's only gonna be us two because our little sister's at school. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel, hit the bell button so you can get notified every time that we post. And we hope you guys like it. So, she's gonna start. In what moment were you most proud of me and why? Um, probably when you decided to go back to college. So you can actually... Because you've been pushing that back for a long time. So I'm proud that you're going back to school to do what you want to do. Okay. Go. What's one thing people assume about you that you wish was true? That I'm a happy and... That I'm a happy person, that I have no insecurities. Like, they f they think that because I wear crop tops and that I wear, like, that I don't give a fuck. I have, like, I don't give a fuck attitude, but that's just, sometimes that's just a front. Well, I don't give a fuck most of the time, but... Sometimes you give a fuck. Sometimes I do, depending on situations, but I hope, I really wish that... I didn't, you know, but yeah, that's one, okay. Have you ever been embarrassed of me? No. So you've never been embarrassed of me? No. Or being seen with me or me being your sister? Why would I be embarrassed of you? I always say, this is my sister. It's not like, um, this is just a person. <laughs> okay. I always introduce it to everybody that I'm okay. giving. Go. What's the greatest obstacle you have overcome? I mean the hardest? The hardest obstacle? The greatest obstacle or the hardest? Graduating high school. That was hard. That was so hard, especially for me. How I got, I kept getting kicked out and stuff and I finally graduated and with really really good grades and stuff so would you give up your life for me why it depends on the situation but if it was like if somebody was gonna kill you i'd rather get killed before they killed you but if it was like obviously something that i can't like if you have something that i can't do anything about then obviously i can't you know what I mean? But you can be like, like... Like, I'll take a bullet for you, but I won't, like... Like, obviously, like, if you have, like, like not on wood, like, if you have like, cancer or something, you're, like, dying. Oh, what can I do about that? But you wouldn't be like, I wish I was in your... In your state so you can live. Or you just let me die. <laughs> well, we're all gonna die one day. Okay, true. So... Cool. What's your favorite traditional dish? Tamales. Really? I love my grandma's tamales. My grandma Andreas. <laughs> I thought you were going to say morisca. <laughs> <laughs> this is hella bomb. <laughs> Only with the quesitos is hella bomb. Do you know how much I love you? How? And give an example. Yeah, because you always, like, defended me in hella situations. Like, that one time, um, at that party, when we were drunk, <laughs> <laughs> and you were going off on the guy, but you were, like, throwing up. <laughs> Dude! Okay. So you know how much I love you, right? Yeah. What annoys you the most about me? That you're fucking lazy? Dude, that's you're so lazy. annoying! You're the lazy one. For an example, Ashley and I cleaned the house yesterday, and I told you to do one thing only, one thing. And I did it. 
No, you didn't. Yes. It my still mom, has to stay. <laughs> my mom cooked last night. She had hella stuff out. Oh, I'll say video. I did it. But that's one thing that I really, really like. Oh, You're the cringe. lazy one. Okay, I, I get my stuff sleep. done. Okay, just because I day. sleep doesn't mean I'm lazy. Yeah, you are. No, that's that right. means I'm getting my energy no, back babe. for tomorrow <laughs> when I go to work. No, babe. Yes. She can sleep literally like 12 plus hours. Not joking. Okay. My, this body that he needs Conde needs 12 hours of sleep, okay? Anyways, my turn. Would you ever go to college to get your general ed? No. Why not? I'm not. I'm just not interested in going to college. Like, it's college is not for me. Like, I feel like graduating high school did it for me. Like, like that was already hard enough, so I just... I wouldn't go back to college. Okay, go. That's me. So if you guys want to go to college, go to college. But it's not for everybody. When was the last time you lowered your standard just to get someone's approval? I don't know. I don't. I don't think I've ever lowered my standards. You've never lowered your standard for like to get accepted by somebody else. No. Okay, that's all you can say. Yeah. <laughs> never! Literally, I've never! Literally, swear. In what moment did you realize you were gay? Like, what made you like... Hey! Like, what moment in your life... I've always you... known. Yeah, I know, but... How did you know? How? Like, even if you were seven years old, how did because, you know? No, it was, I remember, like, it was, like, I never knew what gay was until, like, fifth grade, because we had a gay teacher. And he told us that, um, like... Hey! Gus! Like, you just, like, you know how in the beginning of the year they always show you, like, all the stuff that they do in the summer? And it was, like, obviously him and his partner, but I didn't, and then he, like, said that he was gay, but I didn't know that that was a thing. Like, I didn't know gay was a thing until fifth grade, so that's when I knew that that what I was. You get it? And how did you feel when you realized that that's what, how you, what you were? I don't know. I just felt like weird because I didn't feel like I never had met any other gay person in my life. So. What do we fight the most about? You believe. <laughs> <laughs> no, like what? What okay, to do thing, around the? No, what that's we not do what we around. fight the most about. What do we fight about? Because you always yell, so that's what we always yell at. We're always arguing because you're always yelling. That's but what we fight. both yell. You we both we you both, yell more. We both have our temper. No, both of you. us. Like I can control my temper around. I can control my temper. You can't. You just yell and yell and yell. You don't give a fuck. <laughs> okay. Were you ever bullied because you are gay or overweight? Yeah. Like throughout my whole like elementary school, middle school, high school. What what would people say or do? Like everything everything they told me everything, but what would you do about it? I would tell them shit back, but Nothing, really. Did you ever cry and stuff? No. So you just never let it get to you? Not really. What habit do I have that you wish you can change? I'm smoking the pen. Why? Because I don't like it. But you can smoke? <laughs> I do. <laughs> edibles and stuff like that. I don't do any of that. There's no habit. There, you don't have no habit. What can I change? That's the only habit you have. Smoking. That's it. That's... Have you ever thought about committing suicide? Why? No. You've never thought about it? Not really, no. Have you ever thought about like cutting yourself and stuff? I really haven't. I've seen people like 
like that, and I, that's always giving me like the chills. Like, I don't know how I can do that. So that's why I've never. No. So this is gonna be it for today's video. Hope you guys liked it. And please like, comment, comment share, share, subscribe. Join our family. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace. And comment below if you like videos like this or if you prefer like mukbangs, mukbangs or, or what do you guys want to see? What do you guys want to see? Comment below what do you guys want to see. I know you guys have been wanting ASMRs. We're trying to do one soon, but I wouldn't know. Yeah. That's one of our highly requested videos. Let us know down below in the comment section what you guys want to see and we will try our best to do it. So thank you so much and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Peace.